question number 12 of 1996 we are told expand 1 plus a to power 5 use your expansion to estimate 0 0.08 to power 5 correct to four decimal places and you get three marks so this is binomial expansion and uh, when the power is 5 or the index uh, the coefficient of the binomial are 1 uh, 5 we have 10 we have 10, we have 5, we have 1. Uh, you can check this from the mathematical tables or you can generate them uh, the coefficient using the Pascal triangle. Uh, so we come and write here is 1 plus a to power 5. So we are going to utilize the coefficient. So we start with 1 to power 5. Then we have plus 5. Uh, this is should be 1 to power 4. And 1 to power 4 let's just write that but it's not necessary but for the sake of that uh, just understanding that so we have uh, we have a then we have plus the next coefficient is 10 uh, 1 to power 3 and a to power 2 when you add the index they should add up to 10 so we have plus this should be uh, 10 1 to power 2 a to power 3 then we have plus 5 uh, this will be 1 to power this is a uh, 1 to power 1 which is 1 and a to power 4 and finally we have a to power 5 so that is the expansion which we can write 1 to power 5 is the same as 1 plus 5 times 1 to power 4 is 5 uh, multiplied by a that will give you 5a plus 10 times 1 is or 10 times a squared so that is 10 a squared uh, then we have plus 10 a cubed plus 5 a to power 4 plus a to power 5 so that's what you get uh, so we can now be able to use this to to expand this so 0. Point, uh, 0, 0 point, that is uh, 0. 0.8 uh, to power 5 is the same as 1 minus 0 0.2 to power 5 uh, that is 1 minus 0 0.2 is the same as 0 0.8 so we have not changed our expression and therefore we can now use the expansion here to expand this in this case the, the value of a will be replaced by z minus 0 0.2 so we just say uh, this is equals to we write it is 1 then we have 5 multiplied by uh, 0 0.2 so you say it is plus 5 you multiply by minus 0 0.2 and uh, then we have plus 10 uh, this will be minus 0 0.2 and that will give you square and uh, then we have plus 10 minus 0 0.2 and that will be to power 3 uh, plus 5 multiply by minus 0 0.2 to power 4 and then we have uh, this will give us plus minus 0 0.2 and this is to power 5 now here you can use your calculator so you have 1 you get that uh, then we have plus when you multiply this using your calculator uh, you'll be able to get uh, this is minus because 2 is minus you'll be able to get uh, one and then we have plus this will be plus because minus 0 0.2 uh, is positive so that will give you 0 0.4 then we have minus the other one will be 0 0.08 plus the other one it will be 0, 0.0 uh, this is 0 0.8 then we have minus 0 0.0032 uh, so that is that and using your calculator you will be able to get uh, this is uh, uh, 0 0.3278 uh, 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 correct that uh, 768 and to four decimal places we have 1 2 3 4 is equals to 0 0.3277 because this is more than 5 and this is to four decimal places so that's how you work out that 
and you'll be able to get three marks. So that is how we work such kind of uh, questions and you have covered that in form three, that is in binomial expansion. And if you are sitting for the KCSC, you would expect that you get this kind of a question in paper two. Uh, so I have done uh, this uh, revision of uh, KCSC papers uh even uh, 1990 that is uh, 2019 2018 so you can check uh these papers uh, so what you do is click on the link below uh showing my mrango uh, mrango uh, dot com and you'll be able to join the platform where you will be able to get all the revision questions. Uh, you will be able to also to see the predicted, predicted questions for the coming exam if you are a candidate. If you are not, you will be able to get so much materials for revision uh, in chemistry, in mathematics, in physics. So I hope you join uh, uh, this platform uh, which is very beneficial to you you'll be able to get a lot uh, in preparation of your exams. So thank you and you are all welcome.